Hello everybody! Welcome back to some more Tech It Minecraft thing. The throw off your lip syncing? That was the goal. A little yeah, a little you definitely I, you I have not had a solid uh, I removed the torch lip sync until you know since you've picked up on Good. it. Good. But prior to that, I was like word for word, like uh ventriloquist style almost. Oh, what's this stuff? Copper. I'll <laughs> take it. You don't get excited. That's okay. You're. I think if we both got excited, I think it wouldn't. It would, it would, the magic would be gone. Yeah, but if you find diamonds, you're gonna be excited. Oh, that is a slime and an Enderman right there. Which way? I need to find out how to mark you. I'm just kind of looking around. Update check. Auto update check. Marker options. Surface map. I'm out of I, my pickaxe is gone now. Oh, there's a slime in my face. He's kind of cute. He's not messing with us. How come? He's too big. He's too small to do any damage. Uh, behind you. They are. Do you have a sword? Yeah, I had to switch to it. All right, I guess I'm gonna go back up. I gotta make. Um. I gotta make another pickaxe. I got one for you, man. You do. Yeah, I always take care of you. Thanks. There you go. Hey, no problem. That's what I'm here for, Mathis. All right, so we were digging which way? This way. So we're on a, a semi-search for diamonds so we can build a quarry. Yeah. So once we have the quarry, is that like, does it take up more than one block? Is it like a large thing? Uh, Yeah, oh yeah, it'll take up like a nine by nine block. Okay, so it's not going to fit in the warehouse? Or no, will? I don't want it to be in the warehouse. No, no, no. Okay, so it's like a set whole separate thing. Yep. And then does it need it needs a power source? Uh yes. Oh my god, this lava this lava just freaking everywhere. That's I'm gonna find some diamonds. I hope so, because I'm failing. Speaking of diamonds, at this. Uh -huh. How long have you you and Carrie been dating? Five? Five years? Yeah, yeah, right around then. Okay. Just asking. <laughs> All right. I'm trying not to allude to the fact of what five years. Yeah. Okay. Have you, has that ever crossed your mind? Not five years, but the other question that I'm not asking. Oh I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to talk about it on our tech. <laughs> <laughs> So one, all right. I'm gonna put it this way. One thing Carrie does uh, enjoy is privacy. So I don't talk about too much outside of it. I don't know it. what's private about marriage. I mean, just like in general, <laughs> in general. <laughs> like we just, uh, just we joke. were googling my name yesterday, and the very first thing that pops up isn't Mathis Games, like with anything else after it. It's Mathis Games girlfriend. What does Mathis Games wife look like? <laughs> like it's like Jesus, people, just go. She go away. <laughs> Stop being weird about it. Am I being weird about no, it? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the internet. Oh. The internet's weird, man. It's a weird, scary place. The, I can concur with that. <laughs> I can. I think there. It must be a different kind of weird for you. Um, it's just like you just. I think for every like super, like creep weird thing that happens, there's probably ten to twenty really, really nice people. I you know? agree with that. Yeah. I mean, because in all honesty, like, have, I don't want to, you know, if you don't want to get into details of it, have you had any really bad experiences of, like, people being, like, above and beyond rude online? You know, not like, I'm just saying, like, trolley comments, but you know what I mean? Like, something where you're like, all right, this person has problems. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Okay, so, like, how many times do you think that's happened? Um, uh, maybe, like, two. Okay. And then versus, like... If you had to weigh that out versus like the other side, right? Of it. Yeah, I agree. Like it's definitely not nearly as big. Um, I need torches. Ooh, what's this? Quantum. And a anybody I've ever met in person has only ever been like super nice. Yeah, and like sometimes, I, like this is just m my theory. I, sometimes I think like when people are like r over the top, really, really mean. You know, like super over the top mean. Yeah. Like I think something and and what i do is normally like i'll just approach that person and just be like hey you know not sure what caused you to feel this way but you know let me know what i can do to help and more often than not 
like the person will just be like, hey, sorry, I was having a rough day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like when people do that, it's just like something really crappy has happened. Not that it's like an excuse for them to take it out on you, but it's just something to, you know, someone, people just. Because to them, you're just a faceless nobody that they can just blame. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much so. I thought I found some diamonds, but I didn't. I'm finding some some good stuff here, though, Matt. I'm just digging in a straight line, and <laughs> I've found absolutely jack shit. What level are you at? I'm at 11.62. Okay. It's a pretty good level to be at. I'm finding, like, sapphire, which almost looks like diamond a little bit. I got uh, silver ore, and my eyes lit up because it looks identical to... Uh... Yeah, just like yellow right looks like gold. Yeah, it's like the biggest tease in the world. Yeah, and this is more silver. All right, so the pick, the the wonderful gift that you gave me of this pickaxe is gonna break before I find diamond. No, I'll tell you what. When you find it though, like I can recall, like the moments, and this sounds weird, but I can recall moments in my other series, my original Minecraft series, when you find diamonds, cause it's so rare. Yeah. It's like finding, walking into Best Buy and seeing like all those rare amiibos. Oh my God. I know that <laughs> feeling all too well. <laughs> rare amiibos. Uh, are there any there, there are any new waves coming out soon? There's gotta be uh, one for Christmas. I, maybe. Not that I'm aware of. I know they announced, well Mewtwo is gonna be coming out soon. Um, didn't they do the pre-order for that already? They might have no? and I didn't get it, but I'll, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm trying not to worry about it. Look. I, I I was able to fight my magic instinct yesterday. They had more fat packs at Target yesterday after being out for like a month. And I, was, I walked away and I said, no, I'm not buying any. <laughs> and I was just proud of myself for doing that. Uh, That's a creeper. Packs. Fat packs are the latest release. Yeah, because they come. They all come with full art lands. And like that's the big selling point for those. Wait, I didn't know that. Fat Wait, packs so come with 80 full art lands. And guaranteed? Yes, every time. That's and plus, pretty, plus the nine boosters. That's pretty shifty. So does it end up like being the same cost as nine boosters, except you get like the additional lands? Yeah, just about. Yep. I mean, like every fat pack has been like that. It's just this particular one with the, the new release comes with full art lands because it's battle for Zendikar. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know. It took everything in my power to just say no. I've given <laughs> up. I've given up the search for expeditions, man. Why you just I'm so you, I'm done. I'm just so sick of spending my money doing like looking for the expedition when I'm just like I know eventually I'll get it and then I won't be nearly as satisfied when I get it. <laughs> I'll be like, well, I got it. Now what? I'm like, I'll never have enough of these to play. And have, I could just say, look, I have it and have it in my collection and just be it be worthless. Wait, so would you you'll go to the store buy a fat pack? Do you always record it, or sometimes you just like I haven't recorded. Just keep it yourself. Uh, I have, yeah, I haven't recorded the past few like openings <laughs> that I've done. Do you, what's your reaction when you don't get one? I just, I just you... like I just like fuck it, whatever. Like I just I'm just melancholy, like whatever. Fuck this thing. Fuck this <laughs> stupid, stupid chasing the expedition lands. <laughs> it's frustrating. Do you have one? No, I haven't got any of the new, um, the new, what's it called? The new, uh, expansion. The, the, the new expansion, yeah. I'm like, I like to play just, and they're not doing them anymore. They're not doing any more cores sets. Yeah. Or yeah, like yeah. the 2015, they're, I don't know what they're going to do, but I, I just like knowing what, knowing what every card is going to be and what it does. You know what I mean? Right. Like there's, there's always going to be a Sarah Angel or, you know, the... Saying you're vampire, or you know, you just know that's always going to be in there. Yeah. Well, I know that I should have gotten Jace when I had the opportunity because he his price went through the friggin' roof. What did it start at when you were looking at? I uh, was like thirty three a card when I was looking uh -huh. at him. Now he's like seventy five. Isn't that crazy? I mean, like all because were... they started playing him in modern. Be oh, like the pros. Yeah, like the people actually started using him in modern. So like. Because he became more viable, people are like, "Oh shit! Now we want we want him." They started jacking up the price. <laughs> well, I think that's like the interesting thing about it is that it, there's an actual like market, and if you were like really really into it, you could. It's almost like stocks. Yeah, it know? really is. Ryan is like so, so far in that hole now. And <laughs> and just collecting or the stocks or collecting I, like in the collecting hole. 
I see him like he tweets every Friday for like Friday Night Magic yeah. almost every Friday. I haven't gone to the Friday Night Magic part yet. You should go. It's cool. Like it's more fun if you go with someone, but you know, right. I I would go solo and then get wrecked by like teenagers and <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like what happens to Ryan every time. Yeah. You pull out the miracle win every now and then, and then it makes it all worth it. It's like it. your very gimmicky deck works that one time. <laughs> well, that's the, see, that's where I feel like that evens the playing field, is that I don't go in with constructed decks. One, because I don't want to drop, like, hundreds of dollars in one. Like Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> but I like playing the, the sealed... Um, Draft? Yeah, it's because it's, it's like, it's basically... <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> you have you have as good a shot as any to win. Well, you know? if you're coming to uh, Pack South, we should do a sealed man. Yeah, I'd love to. I'm still on the fence right now. What? It's early or late January? Late, like the very end. Okay. Have you start made your arrangements yet? Not yet, because I still haven't heard fully from Polaris about oh, what they're doing yet. But All right, man. Chances are I'm gonna go. Let's oh no! What? You die? Nope, nope, nope. There's a creeper near the wall that I almost set off. Oh, our, look at our, our beef factory is pretty good. No, they're having a lot of uh, naughty time in there. Do you have to feed them for them to mate, or are they just automatically? Yeah, I think mate? you have to feed them every time if you want them to. I think. Could be wrong. All right, so no diamonds yet. No, nope. so that's setting our our quarry back quite a bit. It's okay though. So from a like, oh god. What was that? They breached the wall. They breached the wall. How did he know? That's kind of messed up. <laughs> um, it's all right. I didn't think they could, like, blow through a wall. Yep. Like, like they would... I didn't think they could get, like, aggroed to do that. You know? Yeah, yeah, they can. <laughs> it's all good. doesn't matter. Um, what was I going to say? All right, so, so from, like, a... God, there's another one. From a high-level standpoint, let's do, like, quick... State of the Union. All right. So what do we? So we have. Oh. Okay. So we have a pretty good food source. We're not there yet, but we're pretty much done. Yeah, we're get we're good. I think on food for the most part. It's gonna take a so, little bit of uh, manual labor from time to time, but. So then, what is? We have our energy source. I right? honestly think our next target has to be the quarry. The quarry. Okay. Which means we should be. Because it's gonna help out tremendously. In terms of our expedition to the moon? Yep. I mean, if people are here for, like, the Fast and Furious, like, build to the moon, you are watching <laughs> the wrong people. We are fumbling our way through this and enjoying every minute of it, so. I don't know if I'd use the term fumble. <laughs> we are fumbling our way through this. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> We're um, like, ah, oh, how do we do it? Oh, I have no idea. Let's figure it out. That's the fast zombie. Oh, there's a mini one. Yep. Ow. Uh, Asshole. Sorry, so kid. quarry's next. So I'm gonna once we I'm gonna get this patched up here, then I'm just gonna get us ready for. I'm gonna pack our some stuff up for us. We're not gonna go on this episode, but what do we need? We need pickaxes. We need food. We need a lot of pickaxes. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a deep expedition. Maybe even starting a new mine shaft wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing either. Okay, I could do that. Just because our mine shaft leads into a maze of winding tunnels and lava everywhere. <laughs> so we might want to start a new mine shaft, abandon the old one, move a little bit off center here. Still stay within our walls, I'd say. Yeah, I'm down with that. And uh, try try a new uh, elsewhere. So if we we need iron, right? Iron, yeah. I have I have 14 iron bars on me if you want it. Here. Okay. So bam. If I take iron ore and I put it, I have to put it in, in the here, pulverizer. Over. Yep. And we need steam. Yeah. Okay, so we need water. We have here. No, we can. I can do. We have a little bit of water. I've got. I got it. Okay. Cool. Boom. Water in it. So, there we go. Cool. So now we have more iron for more pickaxes. See us. We're not fumbling. <laughs> we also need this like a permanent water source for this thing too, which we were working on, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm writing that down. I like how you straight up just write it all down. Water source, because otherwise we'll forget, or I'll forget. Well, we have, it looks like, 22 iron dust in here. No, that's copper. I lied. Okay. So, why do we have these ingots? Because it was before... Yeah, I think, I think it was beforehand. Okay. So, I'll make us some pickaxes here. And we really don't want to burn through all these iron. We want some stone ones, right? 
No, we really just want iron. Oh, it, don't we waste it or no? Uh, kind of, but it's also, it makes it faster at the same time. Gotcha. All right. So we should probably, our goal should probably be three iron pickaxes each. We got four right now. We need some food. Some wood. I want to make a... We have a pump over there. I forgot we built that. And I don't, I don't think I remember reading how to make that work either. Also, we there's a, a skeleton within the walls. Ow! That's not right. Ow! Dick! There go. He must have, like, spawned over here. And, like, in the shade. Someone said if you hit F7... Hit F7, it shows you where they can... Oh, spawn. yeah. Looks like Tron. What is I this? I know, this must be where they can spawn. Because there's no light. Ah, I got it. Or it the yellow sense. is where the light hit. I don't know. Well, that makes no sense, because in here, they can, th there's no way they can spawn in here. Oh, no, they can. Maybe. There you go. I don't know. That's a nice little tidbit. It's like we're cheating. <laughs> I don't see ones and zeros anymore, man. I just see red and blue and brick and cobblestone. Pulverize, pulverize ferrous metal. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, nice. Dude, this gives us so much iron. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you've been trying to tell me that. <laughs> it's all right. You got to discover it on your own sometimes there. That's right. That's right. Not that I don't believe you, Mathis. I don't, I don't, I don't think you do. I do. Wait. Now what do you do with this pulverized iron? You smelt it like normal. I think the problem was... All right, never mind. I'm not going to... Wait. What do you mean you smelt it like normal? You put it in the... Yeah, you put it in this furnace and smelt away. Ah, uh, Okay. I thought we just use that as a replacement for iron. Oh, no, no. You got to smelt it still. It just got doubles it, it up by, by uh, doing that. So where do we want our new mine shaft to be? Uh, where are you currently? I'm outside. It's so nice we, to come out here and not be destroyed by zombies. I know. We, see, we, we fumbled some some progress here, Mathis. We've got some... I don't know where should we should do it. Um, I'd like it to be within a safe locale you know i think within the walls is still probably a good bet okay we can have it be like you know when's the last time you've seen wizard of oz uh, oh my god i don't even know you know like the wizard of oz basement where it's like outside the house yeah there's like doors we could do it like that yeah we could definitely you know? do an outdoor one where it's just like a little double door thing and then the stairs down here i'll do usually how i do it I'll do it. I'll start. We'll do it on the other side over here in the corner. Because we're probably going to go east with it, right? Yeah, we want to go the opposite direction, so. We can do it, like, right behind the greenhouse. Do it, like, here. We could all... We could do, um... Oh, I don't have a pickaxe. Ladders, anymore. too. Yeah, I don't like, still though, digging straight down is super dangerous. <laughs> we like to live on the wild side, Mathis. Oh no, you don't. Alright. I'll tell you what, for people that are bagging on the wall, it's working. So, <laughs> look at this squad. Oh, did you, uh, I'm not going to spoil it. Have you caught up on Walking Dead yet? I know what happens. <laughs> it, it's, it's debatable. I, I, have you seen it or no? You just I have seen it. I've seen it. I've seen okay. what it looks like. It's debatable. And I will say it's debatable for a number of reasons. One of which he doesn't show up on the walking, the talking dead afterward. Yeah. Which is most I'm of the time, which is what happens when somebody kicks it. I'm kind of like, I'm in your boat. I don't like, after thinking about it, I don't think it's it happened. But I think it's kind of cheesy that they did that. I agree. If it didn't happen, I think it's a dumb thing to do. They could have made it so much, like, it would have been such a big impact if they went with it, but. Yeah, and it's just like, because you don't expect that, right. you know? Have, and you haven't read the comics, right? I do know what happens to him in the comics as well. It, to me, that was like, the one of the few times when I've been reading, if you count comics reading, where I was I like, do, flip, flipped back and forth like, eight times, and like, what just happened? You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then you appreciate it, you know? You have to, yeah. But it's like in this, 
the way that if this is fake, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say it's jump the shark, but. Well, like for me, the reason one of the reasons I think it's fake, at least temporarily, anyway, is that like TV is different than the comics, and that TV viewers will like stop watching if their favorite people start going away. So that's why I don't think you'll ever see um, Daryl Dixon go away, because I don't. I think people would stop watching the show. Really? I, yeah. I think he is one of, if not the most, like fan favorite character. Because they have to wor uh, worry about ratings, right? Like ratings are big for them. So any of any anybody I would consider S tier characters, I don't think we'll see kick it because they bring in too many views. Think about it. If if Dar I mean I and you wouldn't stop watching, but if Daryl died. Think about how many people probably would stop watching the show. <laughs> yeah, but to me, that's what I'm. Wa that's why I watched the show. I know, but for, for that moment when he like lots of people don't. <laughs> they because they're just they they, they're they, just... they fall in love with these characters, and if they see anything terrible happen to them, they will just stop watching. Really? Yes, I honest to God think that that makes certain characters untouchable. What do you when you say S tier? What do you mean by like -tier? like the most popular characters on the show? Why did you say S though? Like super tier. It's a it's oh. a great above A. <laughs> it's a great above A, man. Just slightly. I think Rick Grimes is is considered S tier temper for now. Anyway, people did love you it. No did you notice anything like with his hand in that last episode? Who's Rick Grimes? No, but I also didn't see the last episode. Oh, I just I saw just no. Saw I saw I saw oh. the event. I I spoiled myself on the event at the end and watched that. Because I think what a lot of people overlook. I I don't want to. Can I just give you a theory? They didn't show you anything. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I think he got bit in the hand. and Because he's like holding his hand the whole second half of the episode and he doesn't even address it. Huh. And have you... Do you well, know like, I feel like if he did, he know, he's he's smart enough to know that you can like lop off a limb really quickly and be okay with it. Mm -hmm. So that's weird that he wouldn't address it. See, that, that would... For me, if that's the case, that would fall out of character with him because him of all people would not hesitate to chop off his own hand if he got bit well like and that's the thing like with the comics like there's things that happen to some people in the comics that don't happen that happen to other people in the show like the same event right but just different to a different person yeah, yeah. and then the, the the show deviates wildly from the comic in other areas too like carol for instance yeah like She's not. Do you, what's your thoughts on Carol? I think she's awesome in the show. I think she's you, great. You like her? Yeah, I think she's a badass. So I think that's why we're at Salt and Pepper, man. That's, that's why we go so well together in this in this episode in this show. Yeah, I don't. I can't stand her. That's all right. You know what I can't stand? What? The end of the episode. I knew you were gonna stand. I know. That. Sorry, man. Thank you guys so all much right. for watching. What we got? We got cows. We got a new. We shaft. got cows. We got a new shaft and like. We only got to do two episodes today, but we'll, I mean, I don't think people will notice because I think we're going to be back to normal soon enough, so. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, uh, stretch. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, check out the descriptions below to check out the other person's view. Dan is clogging up a hole with raw <laughs> aluminum because that's just well, this is how he rolls. And look, and, it's camouflage. Hey, you yeah, you tell. can't even, you can't <laughs> even tell, Dan. You can't even tell. We'll right, see guys, you guys next time. Bye-bye. Later.